Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I am currently trying to put two of my mamas together. So one is a Bordeaux, that's Cupid, and the other one is the Nigerian dwarf goat, Rhea, and her two babies, Hidalgo and Flicka, and then obviously Cupid's baby, Caballero. And just trying to gauge if I can leave them together and so far the only really aggressive behavior is what you guys just saw and there's just been really sort of gentle telling of back off to the babies from both sides so I think I can be comfortable with leaving them together I'd like to put them together so that I can start to put a couple of groups with babies together just because I wasn't really able to do that last year and it's kind of nice to be able to let them exercise because that way they get big and strong so that's kind of the only aggressive behavior I've really seen so that's okay mama she's not gonna do anything to your baby Flicka is very attentive and really wants the snuggles so <laughs> And then Caballero is still a little unsure, but he knows he likes the back scratches, so. That's about it. Like, I'm not too worried about that kind of behavior. She's just protecting her baby. <laughs> and she kind of loses track of him every so often because he is so fast. He's growing like a weed. I think he's gained already like two pounds since he was born, so. He is crazy, and he's super, super sweet, and Mama has more than enough milk for him, so she's got a pretty, pretty full udder that I've been milking out every so often just to help her, because I don't want her to get mastitis and ruin one or both of her quarters, so it's really important to keep an eye on that. I've milked her out three or four times already, just like once a day since this guy has been born. And he's really enjoying that, so he knows that people equals scratches.
it's the following day and I have decided to put Maple and her little doling in here actually. So there are three mamas and four babies in here. It's really cute to watch them play with each other. <laughs> so this little lady here is the one that was born on Wednesday and that's her mama. Yeah, you're a mama now, Maple. And I've decided to name her Winchester, Winnie for short. So it's a few days after that initial footage and I'm in the cow barn, specifically the pack barn, in our third group where Mako has finally made her way into the barn. So for the OGs, Mako is a heifer that was featured very prominently in the early days of my TikTok and YouTubing filming. So. She <laughs> has a very special place in my heart. She's probably the first one that I made tame after kind of coming back to work on the farm full time. So this is her, and you guys just saw her in that montage. Very beautiful clip job done by Mr. Yun himself. So. She looks a little freaked out. What are you doing, honey? She's back in the barn, You're a silly girl. And for anybody that's wondering why I don't show the animals that are in the corrals more often in my videos, it's because most of my work is done in the barn. And then I've got my own kind of side things that I do with the goats and the horses. So I'm not always able to go out to the corrals and videotape. I do check at least twice a week just to see pumpkin and the other calves that are out there that I've made tame, but I don't always have my video camera on me. So I created this group pen at the beginning of this video and everybody has worked out their differences. There's still like a small amount of bullying going on, but everybody knows who their mom is and every mom knows who their baby is. Prime example. And that's about the extent of anybody being aggressive. So that's actually really nice. And all of these babies have become unbelievably friendly. <laughs> right, Flicka? So they're super fun to just sit in this pen with and relax with. They'll all come up to you. They'll all ask for pets. They're all super sweet, so. Oh my Terms. 
So that is essentially what I do for like an hour every day right now. It's sometimes so hard to get chores done because I just have this really amazing group of baby goats that all want very large amounts of attention. So it's super fun to just be in here. It's just a, it's a place of joy and relaxation. It's just so fun to be in here with them. And I'm so happy with all of these little baby goats. So I guess I will end the video with an update on Pilgrim, who you can probably hear in the background. It's time for her evening bottle and I'm just gonna show you guys how that goes. So that's her. I know she's by herself and a lot of people are gonna tell me you shouldn't have a goat by herself but this is the only option for her right now. So you can tell she's a lot smaller than Flicka right now, like body condition wise, she's pretty thin. And she's in here because she needs a heater yet because she doesn't have enough body condition, like fat on her body to keep her warm. So she's in here with a heater and I'm trying to wean her off of it slowly. But yeah, she's in a dog crate here so I can give her a bottle and I haven't put her back in with the other goats just because she's not strong enough to compete. She doesn't stand a chance if one of those mamas decides to headbutt her. So we're keeping her in here because it's the safest option for her. She usually jams her mouth completely shut so that I can't put the nipple of the bottle in her mouth. That was actually ridiculously easy, so I guess I need to videotape her doing this more often. <laughs> so yeah, we've slowly been building up how much milk she gets every time she's fed, and I'm confident that I'll be able to keep her going this way. So fingers crossed, something could still happen to her, in which case it would really suck but I'm still kind of holding my breath just because she is pretty skinny. Like that episode of having to save her took a lot of her energy and her body conditioning and I've just been trying to build it up. So she's also got hay, she gets water, she gets a treated calf starter. So yeah, this is where we're at with Pilgrim. So it's exactly two weeks ago tomorrow that she had her episode, so it took her two weeks. Don't fight me now. It took her two weeks to start trying to accept the bottle, which is insane. And that's because she was dam raised and not bottle raised. She's, and I know it looks like I'm really manhandling her, but I really only got my thumb behind her head here so that she can't jerk back. Like I'm not choking her or anything. She just really likes to struggle. <laughs> so try that again. And again, I'm not like choking her. I'm really keeping a loose grip around her neck. It's right behind her head where I have the most tension because that's where she likes to push from. So that's kind of how this is going with her. And she's very stubborn, but still very cute and very sweet otherwise. <laughs> just wish she would cooperate a bit better. Hey. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and share it with a friend. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> All done. Say bye, Pilgrim.
Bye. You silly thing. <laughs>